Hello. In this problem, we're going to establish an interesting inequality involving the log function. Namely, that log of 1 plus 1 over t is greater than or equal to 1 over 1 plus t and less than or equal to 1 over t for t greater than 0. And from that, we're going to deduce that the limit as t approaches infinity of log of 1 plus 1 over t to the t equals 1. And hence, we're going to find the value of this interesting limit, the limit as t approaches infinity, of 1 plus 1 over t to the t. And this turns out to have an interesting financial aspect to it. Alright, so let's start by having a look here at the function 1 over x, which plays an important role here, because the log function itself is defined in terms of 1 over x. So maybe let's recall our definition of log, that log of a is equal to the integral from 1 to a of 1 over x dx. So it's the integral under this function from 1 to whatever value a we're considering. All right, so let's have a look. Let's consider a function f of x equals 1 over x on the interval between 1 and 1 plus 1 on t. This interval right here. We'll note, first of all, that f of 1 plus 1 over t is the reciprocal of that, which is t over 1 plus t, this value over here. Okay, so log of 1 plus 1 on t is the integral from 1 to 1 plus 1 on t of 1 over x dx. That's the definition of log of 1 plus 1 over t. It's the area under 1 over x from 1 to 1 plus 1 over t. Now this is going to be less than or equal to the area of this smaller rectangle. Okay. The area of this smaller rectangle, this one that goes up to here, is this value, t over 1 plus t, times the base, which is 1 on t. And the same integral is less than or equal to the bigger area, the area of the rectangle with the same base that goes up to the maximum, which is 1. Okay? And that area is 1 times 1 on t. And since the t's here cancel, we get uh, 1 over 1 plus t is less than or equal to log of 1 plus 1 over t which is less than or equal to 1 over t. So this establishes the first inequality. So this is, let's call it star, up here. Okay, so let's now deduce from this that the limit as t approaches infinity of log of 1 plus 1 over t to the t equals 1. Okay, so from this, And this inequality, if we multiply both sides by t, we get t over 1 plus t is less than or equal to t times log of 1 plus 1 over t, which is less than or equal to 1. So now take the limit, so the limit as t goes to infinity of log of 1 plus 1 over t to the t, which is the same as what's in here, because if you multiply the log by the t, that's the same as taking what's in here, raising it to the teeth power, taking the log of that. So as t goes to infinity, well, this side is always equal to 1, and as t goes to infinity, this side is equal to uh, 1. So the limit of log of 1 plus t to the t equals 1 by the pinching theorem.
So that establishes that. Okay, now how do we deduce what the limit as t approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 on t to the t is? Well, we know that since the log of e equals 1, if the log of something is approaching 1, then that something must be approaching e. We have that the limit as t approaches infinity of just 1 plus 1 on t to the t must be equal to e, which I remind you is approximately 2.718281828 for something like that. And this has the interesting interpretation that if you have one dollar and you put it into a bank account with 100% interest and it's compounded continuously so not just once a month or once every day but continuously then the amount of money that you're going to have at the end of one year is exactly E because that's what this limit is so you have two dollars and seventy two cents almost mm -hmm.